Well, exploiting a computer is a really great work. However, our goal as penetration testers is to maintain access to this compromised computer and to reduce the time we already consumed and all the efforts we put in attacking uh, the same machine over and over again. So for this purpose, we need to install a backdoor upon our first access or compromise. To do this, we will use Netcat for this purpose. And as we saw earlier in the previous video, that Netcat can act as a simple backdoor. So suppose that you have a Metapreter session on a compromised computer. In this case, my computer is a Windows 10 machine and I have a Metapreter session. So the first thing I need to do is to upload this Netcat program. For this purpose, I will issue the upload command from my Metapreter session and I will refer to the Netcat program on my desktop and then I will point to the location where I need to upload it on the Windows machine it will be under syswow64 so as you know on the Windows 10 machine which is a 64-bit machine you have system32 and uh, 64 directories Windows automatically handles the file placement of your 32-bit file or 64-bit files in this case this nc.exe is a 32-bit file so even if you put it in system32 it will automatically appear in syswow64 so just to make it easier I'm writing this here I'll just press enter and you will see that the file has been uploaded to this directory let's go to our Windows machine here and try to search for this file this PC Windows Windows then syswow then I'll search for nc.exe as you can see 542 so yeah this is the time I have uploaded this file going back to my Kali machine now we have the file placed on the victim's machine okay so we need to have a mechanism that this file is booted or loaded upon the boot of the machine each time so each time the user restarts or boots the machine this netcat file will starts and starts listening by itself so for this purpose we need to create a registry key called netcat that will boot up the service every time as we said the system is started so this will give us actually permanent access to the victim's machine. So on the Metapressor session as well, just try the reg enum key. We just want to see the list of services that are automatically run currently on this target machine. Okay, so K for a key and write this registry entry, HKLM, software, Microsoft, Windows current version and here we go there are no entries in this key so now we need to create the key in order to set this process to run upon the boot of the computer so use the command of reg set val key and use the same value for the key then use the V parameter for a new value and we call it netcat and then we we'll use the D for the data so the data in this registry entry will be it will be C windows and syswow64 then nc.exe and we will make it a listen so the listener daemon on port 6666 okay and then we will execute command.exe so just hit enter and you'll get a message that it has successfully set the net key now if we go to the windows machine let's try to locate this registry entry let's search for that from the start Try to press find and search for the netcat value and you will see that the registry entry netcat has been created and this is the value that we've just passed 
from the interpreter. I'll go back to my Kali machine and I will reboot this remote computer. If you go here, you'll see that it has started the reboot sequence. If I go back to my Kali machine, I will see that the interpreter session has died. Again to the Windows machine after the reboot and let me access that machine. Now I'll go directly to my Kali and open a new terminal. Now if I issue the netcat command pointing to this compromised victim, I should have a quick remote shell. So let's see. V4 verbose and to enter the host address 192.168.211. The remote address was of the machine is 129 and the port is quad 6. Just hit enter and here we go. Now we have full remote access. We have a shell for Windows and you can do anything. So sky is the limit now and you back the Windows installed and you can access the remote target anytime even if the, the target machine has been patched or upgraded or etc.